The best example in our group we found was that in subjects such as PE, art and music, students are in an uncontrolled environment. Not as in uncontrolled, you know what I mean. But they, 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 have, their, they have their own take on the subject, which, you know, they're, they're less stressed. There's not a set out task that says you have to do this or you have to do that, you know. So I think this, need, this is, needs to be taken into account when uh, using STEM subjects. We were to imagine that our class was in charge of the country or the schools and three wishes that we would like to give each student their use of their own laptop and to use them instead of books as it would be easier to learn. To use more technologies for experiments in science classes and to give early introduction to technology as early as primary school level. Do more practical work in subjects so we could go outside and enjoy ourselves more and learn at the same time. Explain and think of easier ways to teach maths and more trips for an education to see people use STEM subjects in the workplace and in schools. The pupils should become more involved and show more initiative. The teachers should start promoting competitions in STEM related subjects. The schools should also support more competitions involving STEM. And what we want to make technology being used more in the classroom successfully is the students to show an avid interest in technology. If they go up to their teacher and say, Miss or Sir, why aren't we using a computer for this? It might start, to start it up. The school will take initiative and think, oh, why don't we get a computer for this or get a program for that? As regards to extreme focused learning on books, I would say that the people who comment about this are right. And, you know, you go into a class and you're there for 40 or 50 minutes and it is the book the whole way through. I don't think it has enough time to explain itself out, especially when it comes to teachers. I mean, if you've 30 students in a class and there's only 40 minutes or something like that, I think it's one or two minutes for the teacher with every student. So I think that you will have to come up with some sort of way to um, give teachers incentives to you know, explain the subject and make it more fun. Because if you have something as being fun, you are going to remember it a lot more than being a, a dreary, boring subject in the classroom. And I think that sort of way, you know, you'll, you'll have an uptake in the subjects. And, you know, it'll, it'll benefit the Leaving Cert, uh, you know, the Leaving Cert courses. Uh, well, I think that the points race works, you know, we've such a um, confident youth out there. They've worked before, got us out of recession in the 80s into a Celtic Tiger. I think the points race is working, keep it that way. You can have students who will score 600 points in their Leaving Cert, go on for medicine, maths or technology, and they will find that they are unhappy with the course and they might have the manner of a dog and they will then leave it. So I think that, you know, uh, those, those courses where, when you're going in, they're important for a, a personality-based, uh, you know, scripture as well. The most reason that the teachers don't really listen to us is because they don't have the time. And, like, it, it feels bad. You could have a genuinely good idea and then it's just thrown out the window. And it is mostly based on the whole point race. As like what Stephen said, they're just so focused on completing the course. It's okay, we have to do this, 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 and this. It's not, so what do you think about this? Do you have any ideas on how we could make it better? They really do just need to slow down the course. Like, I know they have to have it finished. Everyone has to have it finished before June or whatever, whenever the mocks are. But they could just take it easy. We are, like, we are young minds. We have thoughts that you mightn't have. We have so many ideas and inspirations and they're just not taken part, like they're not listened to. And it does put down the student and it discourages them from putting up their hand in class and saying, oh miss, what does that mean or what's that all about? So, yeah. <laughs>